Okay, so here we have another symbol. This time I pulled this symbol from Microsoft Word, but I could draw anything here because the idea is that we know this symbol takes our first number C and our second number D and applies them into this expression right here. So whatever numbers were given, we double D, that's the second number, we double our second number, and then we subtract four times C from that, which is our first number. Now we're given this expression right here. Notice that these parentheses right here tell us, because of PEMDAS and the order of operations, which we're not breaking here, that this has to be evaluated or solved first. We'll get a number from that, and then we'll apply this part of the expression. So first, let's deal with the numbers in the parentheses. So 3, and then the symbol 4. What does that equal? Well, we double the second number, and that's 4. So 2 times 4, or D, and subtract 4 times 3, which is 4C. So that's 8 minus 12, and that's negative 4. Now we have this equation, expression 2, with this symbol, and then negative 4. So we evaluated these parentheses, and what do we get now? Well, we double the second number, so 2 times negative 4, and then subtract 4 times the first number from that. So now we get negative 8, that's 2 times negative 4, minus 4 times 2, which is 8. Negative 8, take 8 away, that is negative 16. So when you're given a problem uh, with a symbol function like this, be careful, because you really want to make sure you take care of the parentheses first. If I was to do 2 and the symbol 3, and then apply that, to this part right here, I might not get the same answer. So we want to be consistent. All right, hope that helped.